Hey guys, welcome once again. I think everyone have heard about the driverless cars, which will come in market in no time. Some of the leading automobile companies have already succeeded in this field. In this video, we'll talk about how this car works and what is logic behind that. So let's start. To drive this type of cars, the industries use some kind of artificial neural network. These are just like our biological nervous system. An artificial neural network is basically the collection of neurons and each neuron can transmit data to each other. The receiving neuron processes on that data and forwards ahead. These neurons are organized in layers. Each layer performs different operations. In new autonomous driving cars, convolutional neural network is used. The neurons are arranged in 3D pattern. Their layers can be customized by adjusting their parameters to do their intended function. Their neurons constantly improve their accuracy for their outputs by learning from each piece of input data. And this is very important as far as driverless vehicle is concerned. First step for driving autonomous car is training and simulation of neural network. Initially, to train the network, a video is recorded by placing a camera connected to a human driven data collection vehicle. Then the simulator present in the processor takes these videos and generates images by considering what if the neural network was controlling the vehicle. These test videos are time synchronized with recorded steering commands generated by human driver. For synchronization, training of the neuron is done in terms of frames. The video is sampled at a rate of 10 frames per second because if higher sample rates are used, they will include similar images and that will not give any accurate useful information. All collected data is labeled with road type, weather condition and driver's activities like switching lanes, turning or overtaking. After selecting final set of frames, the data is augmented by adding artificial shifts and operations to teach the neural network how to recur from poor position. All the minute parameters such as human doesn't drive in the center of the lane every time. Then the convolutional neural network calibrates the lane center for better judgment. The simulator accesses the recorded test video along with the synchronized steering commands that occurred when the video was captured. The simulator sends the first frame of the chosen test video to the input of the train CNN, which then returns the steering command for that frame. The CNN steering command and recorded human driver commands are fed into the control model of the vehicle to update the position of simulated vehicle. The simulator records the off-center distance and distance traveled by the car. When the off-center distance exceeds by some unit, a virtual human intervention is triggered and the position of the vehicle is reoriented to the default place according to the frame of the test video. Second step is image identification. To identify images, vehicle needs to process a full 360 degree environment. A vehicle can be equipped with rotating camera to collect all relevant data like geometry of objects which will require to keep the vehicle in its lane and at a safer distance from other vehicles. And also it is necessary to grasp conceptual knowledge like traffic participation and collision avoidance. Currently, for detection of obstacles in autonomous cars, detectors are used. First step in this method is to select the area of interest. These appearances analyze 3D data and they are sensitive to shadows and color gradients. 3D scene analysis of object provides wide area of interest which includes disparity and optical flow. For example, if you look an object by alternately closing one eye after another, then the jumping you see in the object is called disparity. And optical flow simply samples the environment and analysis of images to determine the motion of objects. These two parameters are very handy when it comes to selection area of interest. After area of interest has been identified, these are classified by passing through many filters for better decisions. All the knowledge based methods for special obstacles like pedestrians, cars or obstacles present on the ground are computed efficiently because CNN closely mimic the structure of complex scenes just like human brain. Third step to drive autonomous cars is depth estimation. It is the important consideration as it ensures the safety of passengers as well as the vehicles. Estimating difference between an obstacle and the vehicle is an important safety concern. Well, estimating depth of stationary objects is easy rather than moving objects. The neural network 
feed is a detected obstacle to programmed layer to find the depth every image is detected by camera is weighted with some depth codes these are characterized as 1 to 6 where 1 represent most shallow area and 6 represents the deepest areas and this neural network decides the control parameters by analyzing this data one more job for this network mechanism is to choose the best route for each vehicle to travel from one point to another which will decrease the traffic congestion and reduce the fuel consumption each vehicle will have a set of commands learned from different driving situations the tesla one of the leading automobile companies has came with the intelligent ai system in which every car learns in the most efficient way as it drives in the autopilot mode all tesla cars are connected to a high through a network if a car learns to take sharp turns it gives all the feedback to other cars through hype in driverless cars when efficiency and part preservation are priority commands will be executed to minimize wear and tear on the vehicle and reduce the energy consumption by 25% for example when a human driver stuck in a traffic might hit the accelerator and the brake excessively to move every time the traffic inches forward this causes the excessive wear on the engine and brakes of the vehicle however an autonomous vehicle system would be optimized to either move forward at slower rate so that it does not collide with other vehicles or not move until there is enough free road available now if you see the progress of this technology many companies like autonomous stuff is attempting to sell its own customizable r&d vehicle platforms used for advanced driving assistance system this conventional technology can detect some objects and do basic classification like alert the driver of dangerous road condition and some cases slow or stop the vehicle nvidia drive ai uses software development kit for autonomous driving with their high graphic solutions a vehicle's neural system can give distinction between a police car and a mere taxi an ambulance to a delivery truck or a park car which is about to pull out into traffic a startup company 5ai develops a host for technologies including a computer vision combined with a neural network and motion planning they are trying to design a solutions for high level autonomous vehicle that is safe in complex environments other companies like nauto offers an ai powered dual camera unit that learns from drivers and the road this system also helps cities with better traffic control and street design to eliminate fatal accidents similarly oxbotica specializes in mobile autonomy has been engaged which is basically a vehicle operating system it offers a cloud based fleet management system and coordinate autonomous vehicles enabling route optimization and data exchange between vehicles without human intervention so this was all about the basic regarding autonomous cars and we get to know that the day is not far when the human will not need to drive a car on his own the era will come when you just sit in the car you command your destination and just do your work or sleep and wake up at your destination great isn't it let me know what you think about this concept in the comment section hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and finally thanks for watching